Gandhi once said, everything you do in life will be insignificant, but it's important that you do it anyways. This does not ring true for certain individuals, because certain individuals have clearly defied this through their actions and the way that they have changed this world. One man who has changed the world in several different ways is General Patton. He changed the way we fight battles today. And he did it at a time where military was evolving significantly. He did this, like he was just a man of greatness throughout his whole life. First off, he was an Olympian. He also achieved success very early when he would offer to do things when other people wouldn't try to just achieve these goals that he had. Also, he was an excellent strategist. Like, first off, being an Olympian, how many people can say that they're an Olympian and actually placed at the Olympics and received a medal of some sort? Uh, the way he got to the Olympics was by knowing the right people, because while he was at West Point, he never competed at the national scale, but he was on the fencing team, the track team, he even played football. And in the Olympics, he did the pentathlon, which is rowing, swimming, running, shooting, and when he would shoot, he'd have to shoot with a pistol and a rifle, and you had to shoot at 300 meters and 600 meters, which is three to six times the length of a football field, and the targets are only about this big when you're seeing them from that far off. Also, he achieved greatness at a young age. Uh, when he first got out of West Point, there was a conflict that we had with Mexico where Pancho Villa was threatening to attack Texas and General Pershing had to go down to Mexico to fight off Pancho Villa and Patton at the time, he was a commander, he offered to go with General Pershing and General Pershing said, I don't need you, but Patton knew he wanted to advance his career so he kept begging and begging to go with. And finally, General Pershing allowed him to go with. And while the, uh, Patton was out on patrol with six other men, they came across some bandits that were with Pancho Villa. And they fired upon Patton and his men. And Patton returned fire and killed all five of those men. And one of them was General Cardenas, one of Pancho Villa's best men. And also, with Patton being a an excellent strategist when it came to World War II, we we're losing the battle in Europe and he said, send me to North Africa, let's beat the axis of power there so we can go through Europe. And the way he did this is he planned out Operation Torch, where he was to attack Casablanca, Algiers, and Port Lete. And he teamed up with the British Army and it was a three-headed attack. They attacked him on land, water, and through the air. And all three of these cities surrendered within a day, if not hours. And in conclusion, the way that you can tell that he was a man of greatness is he defied what Gandhi said about doing stuff that would be insignificant in an overall scale. Patton saved lives, and he, he was an Olympian first off. He achieved greatness at an early age, early in his career, and he was an excellent strategist.